think it's our simultaneous equation, but it's fairly um, similar. It's a longer method than the junior cert one. There's three equations, three things missing. So I'm actually just going to multiply this one by a minus one and try and get rid of the x's. That's 2x plus 8y. That's my top line. And the bottom line is minus 2x plus 3y minus 2z equals minus 2. That's gone. 11y minus 5z equals minus 3. So now it's starting to look like a junior cert equation because I have two equations, two things missing. Well, I will in a second. So I'm going to have minus 2x plus 3y minus 2z equals minus 2. So this line multiplied by minus 1 and the bottom line. There's my second one. In order to cancel these off, I'm going to multiply this one here by a minus 5. And when I do, so this line I'm leaving as it is, 11y minus 5z equals minus 3. This line turns into minus 20y plus 5z equals minus 15. They're gone, which is what I wanted. And I end up at minus 9y is equal to minus 18, so y is 2. There's one of them. Uh, I need to go back and maybe I'll take this one. 4 times y minus z equals 3. Well, 4 times 2 minus z equals 3. So minus z is equal to minus 5, so z is 5. There's another one. And if I go back to the very start and just take maybe the, the top one, um, or let's just take the bottom one maybe, because that's a little bit easier. Let's just sub in there. So that's 2x plus y plus z equals 5. That's 2x plus y plus z equals 5. That gives me 2x is equal to minus 2. x is equal to minus 1. There's my third solution. Minus 1.